Yosemite is breathtaking. From the minute you enter her cathedral granite peaks rising several thousand feet above the valley floor. It's no wonder author and champion for the national parks, John Muir, said no temple made with human hands can compare with Yosemite, where God's attributes and glory is revealed. Muir believed that the best place to discover the true attributes of God was in nature, and that God is always active in the creation of life, and thereby has continued to keep the natural order of the world. About the size of Rhode Island, Yosemite National Park covers 1,190 square miles and is full of valleys, giant cliffs, waterfalls, alpine lakes, and even active glaciers, with its highest point being over 13,000 feet. Yosemite was first set aside by President Abraham Lincoln on June 30, 1864, and given to the state of California to oversee. It was the inspiration for the first national park, Yellowstone. When the National Park Service was organized in 1916, Yosemite was adopted in as a national park. It is visited by over 3.7 million people, mostly in the seven square mile area of Yosemite Valley. From the valley floor, giant granite cliffs go straight up and have names such as Half Dome, El Capitan, and Sentinel Dome. As one looks around, questions are formed about this amazing granite rock and how it was carved in such a deep valley. The granite is thought by secular scientists to have begun forming over 210 million years ago. After the formation of the Sierras, the valley was mostly cut by the Merced River and finished off by large glaciers. Obviously, these timescales don't match up with the biblical account of a few thousand years. Evidence has come to light to help explain the quick formation of the granites during the flood of Genesis, as well as a model for the rapid formation of the massive glaciers and ice sheets from the Ice Age not long after the flood. What evidence? I'm glad you asked. Mm -hmm.